Good morning, everyone. It's Nick from Claret and Booze, back again. Um, just trying to keep you all entertained in this uh, this week, this football-free week that we've got. Um, look, I'm going to talk about David Moyes again today, but I'm going to take a different slant because this is causing massive division, really, within the fan base. As any shows that you watch, if you go on Twitter, whatever you say, you've either got one side of the fence or the other. Um, and it's, it's really strange, actually. It's really strange. And it is it is quite shocking, really, when you consider that we've just had two uh, really, really good seasons. And they are brilliant seasons by our standards. It's strange that we're, we're all being... Uh, we're all arguing over this. Now, like I say, football fans always always disagree. They always kind of debate. It's, it's what we do. We've all got our own opinions. Um, but it, it's getting quite heated on the Moyes front. Um, and that's driven from both sides because there are some people that are being, in my opinion, pretty aggressive and over the top in the out camp. Moyes out. I don't know why you would be going Moyes out. I mean, I'm I'm Moyes frustrated um, at the moment, personally. Uh, I have been because we've been we've not been very good for a while. Uh, so, and I'm getting annoyed by him doing the same things. The fact of the matter is, if the manager doesn't improve, then Moyes will be gone anyway, just by virtue of the fact that. That's what happens in football. If he doesn't start producing, especially with that level of spend, then he will he will be gone. Um, uh, there's nothing to be kind of gained. We can't we can't push the board to sack someone, and nor should we be pushing the board to sack someone at the minute. When you consider what the guy has done, even even if he continues to frustrate us, and even if you know, and I'll be I'll be the one on here spitting feathers and getting pissed off when he when he when he does do what I moan about all the time. He does the same thing, and sometimes it doesn't work well. More often than not, it doesn't work at the moment. But he has he has earned the right to be given a chance because this is a transition season at the moment. It is. Um, whether or not Moyes can oversee this successfully, I don't know. Time will tell. I've got my doubts. But nonetheless, I, I still believe that he should be given time to prove himself because if you don't, I mean, we're all going to feel a bit foolish if we go in another direction, straight away now, all of a sudden we end up in a bloody relegation battle again. And then um, I doubt it will come back for a third time to, to level us out. So I think we've got to almost try and let him finish off a project that he started. Whether he can do or not, I don't know. I've explained why I don't think that is. Um, but if we move on, we've got to do it in the right way at the right time. And yeah, it's, it's got to be proved beyond any doubt that David Moyes can't do the job at this end of the spectrum. We know that he can do it at the other end. We know that full well. You know, he's well geared towards that. He can he can do that. He can come in. He can get uh, an, an unsettled, struggling group of players organised and working hard. And he can he can kind of, he can save you from the situations that he saved us from the last two times that he's come in. And he's stabilised us. He's done a very good job. So whatever happens with David Moyes, if it, doesn't go well and he ends up leaving, he'll still be leaving on good terms with, he should be leaving on good terms with most West Ham fans because we will be, irrespective of, of whether we're bottom three when he gets sacked or anything at Christmas, which I don't think will happen by the way, but it could, it's not beyond the realms of possibility. But even if that was to happen, we we still owe him nothing but thanks. We don't, he, he's he saved us twice, he's he would be leaving us in a far more solid and secure position than when he than when he came in. And that's all you can ask from any manager, you know. He did a lot of that on the shoestring budget, fair enough. He hasn't just recently. He's gone out, he's spent. But that's a spend to try and drive the change that he knows that he needs to make because he knows that we're, we're now no longer... We're not looking to overachieve and survive and just try and push up the table. We're looking to uh, maintain our existence at the top end. And to do that, it costs money, and it also you need to be a little bit, a little bit more expansive with your style as well. Because in the end, as we've found out, the counter attack way of playing, it's very easy to mitigate in the end. And once teams start looking at you as a bit of a risk, and you, it, yeah, they they can, they can mitigate it e easy enough. They'll, they'll they'll just treat you with more respect, and they won't give you as much room in behind. And if you have got a couple of key players, they'll just, they'll just double up on them, and that and that kind of kills any team that that wants to play that wants to play direct counter attacking. So he, he like, like we've all said, you know, he's gone out, he's got players in. We've heard what Newman said, 
Um, if you haven't, go and have a look. There's an article on the uh, on the official West Ham United uh, page where he goes into detail about the strategy of the players that they brought in and how that they want these players to drive change in the way that we play. Um, but what I want to get into really is the infighting between West Ham fans at the moment. I get it as well. I get it in my in, in our own group, in our own group that we've got here, uh, because I'm not happy with the way that we play, and I never have been. I'll, I'll be honest with you. Um, I've never been happy with this style of football. I haven't. When it yields results and everything else, you turn a blind eye to it. You kind of, you know, you, you, it doesn't mean you enjoy it. I, I can't I can't say I enjoy the football under David Moyes. I think that the David Moyes style is very efficient and it will yield more points and it will keep you safe. And as it has done throughout David Moyes' entire career, um, you know, sort of after Preston when he went to Everton, then Man United... Um, didn't n- never never got to the top. Never 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 won anything. But you 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 rarely rarely ever going to run into trouble where you're not yielding points because when you play in such a risk averse way, which is how that we play, um, then you shouldn't get beat on many occasions. That's 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 the main thing. First of all, you shouldn't get beat when you play a counter attacking game. You're gonna get you're gonna nick goals. You're gonna smash and grab like we did against Chelsea. Really, Chelsea. Although they weren't playing very well, we played so defensively, and then after 60 minutes, we weren't really in the game. We just went and nicked a goal. That's a that's a typical David Moyes way of scoring, and he's happy to do that. Um, but why I think that there is, and I think I think that's one I think that's one of the main reasons why there is such a divide, because different fans like different types of football, and that doesn't make anyone right. It doesn't make anyone wrong. Okay, if you're the type of fan that is happy having uh, with this style of football, like you might have a defensive mind, mindset. Like for instance, John. Um, John was a defender. John loves he loves defending, you know, and he appreciates that. And 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 I do as well. But I like a balanced game. But if you if you like that and you're safety first and and you're happy to kind of almost shut another team out and just nick a goal here and there, then you will like the David Moyes way. You will because we don't we don't set up to play with the ball. We just don't. Um, it's all about uh, retaining a defensive and solid shape and making it almost impenetrable for the opposition who are holding the ball, trying to trying to sort of craft chances. And, and they're trying to play football, basically. We're trying to stop them playing football. That's what it amounts to. So you've got one football team and then you've got the anti-football team. And then we just basically go, no, nah, no, nah, you can't have it, mate. We'll let you have it, but you ain't going to come through. And then we'll just try and sucker punch them. That's the whole ethos. If you're happy with that, then that's fine. You you will you will love David Moyes and, and you'll respect... And don't get me wrong, I do respect him because I think it works for the most part. But I don't enjoy it. I I, I want to see West Ham play football. I, I want to see my team with the ball. I do. On special occasions against, against Man City or something like that, I could understand taking that tact, but not as a base strategy to to attack every game and we have when we have done that this year we even did it against a struggling Aston Villa you know for 60 minutes we 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 sat even though we changed shape the mentality was the same so we went three at the back on paper but it wasn't it was five at the back and Suchik and Rice just sat in front and we had seven men behind the ball it was it was painful to watch and when that type of football doesn't win you games fans that don't appreciate that fans that enjoy a passing game um, which is something that West Ham have always been renowned for, right? You know, the academy of football. We've always played nice. We've always played good football. This isn't that. It is. It is. It's, it's a polar opposite of that, and it always will be. Um, well, I say it always will be. I think he's 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 obviously going to have a have a crack at trying to change his ways. But when you listen to, um, if you haven't listened to it, there's an interview float an interview floating about with um, with Antonio. Well, it's not an interview. It's a podcast. It's the um, uh, the Footballers Football Podcast, and it's with Callum Wilson and Antonio. And not the most recent one, uh, which is about VAR, the episode before, um, they referenced the uh, uh, the drubbing that, that, that I think it was Bournemouth got, didn't they, when they, they, they got walloped 9-0, and they was talking about that, and they was talking about how, um, you know, obviously Wilson's manager, how, and Antonio's, Antonio's manager, Moyes, how they, um, what their mentality is like when you go a goal down. Um, and Antonio was very much like, when we go a goal down, the instruction is nothing changes. You stick to the game plan. You stick to what you're doing. You don't go after the game. You don't go after the game at all um, because you don't want to go two goals down. You know, 
So again, even when you're a goal down, now look, you can argue that's sensible because yeah, it will prevent you from getting bashed. Because sometimes when you've just conceded, you're a bit wobbly. You want to maintain. You want to maintain your um, get your get your composure back and settle into a pattern. But no, this was very clear what he said. He said no, we we stick to our game plan that we've worked on, um, and there might be some personnel changes. But basically, we only go for the game in the final ten minutes. So that's that's kind of what he said. Now, uh, Mickey wasn't criticising Moyes. He was he was obviously he was speaking quite highly of, of of David Moyes and the way that he approaches games. Because like fans, some footballers are gonna are gonna appreciate that and respect that as well. Not all footballers mind. Not all footballers are gonna want to set up a roadblock for a game and be in a team that 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 kind of play seventy to eighty percent of a game without the football. That's not going to suit everyone. It does suit Mickey. Like I say, he was speaking very highly of Moyes, but that is what he said. That was his quote. He basically said, if we if we go a goal down, we don't go after a game. We we, we stick to the original tactic and then, you know, because we don't want to go two down and then what we'll do is we'll just try and go for it at the end of the game. Now, in my opinion, whilst, like I said, that might prevent you from getting bashed, two, three, four, five nil, it's also going to prevent the opportunity in many games where you don't get back into it and you only lose by one nil, it will prevent an occasion whereby you could have got back into the game by going after it, because there would be those occasions as well. If you were to react, if David Moyes... Because the, I don't care what anybody says, the thing that bugs me most about David Moyes is he is a reactive manager. He's not proactive. When you when you look at the likes of Potter, who comes up against us, he's dynamic in game. He just makes changes. You know, it's, it, He hasn't got one game plan, he's got multiple and he's, he's dynamic and he changes things all the same time. He doesn't just change personnel. He changes the way that he plays. That's not what we do. It's one size fits all. And it does fit all because it's geared towards being defensive. So that should make anyone's life hard. Anyone that we come up against, it should make their life hard when you play with the way that we play. Because it's, it's quite deep. It's quite regressed. It's very, very rigid in, in, in its shape. Very hard to penetrate. And, and that's why David Moyes feels comfortable with that. Um, because the main aim is is to go in at nil-nil, at half-time nil-nil, and then try and nick it afterwards. And that's probably been illustrated more so this, this season than, than ever before. Because we're still the only team to, to, to have not scored in the first half. We've got the lowest shots on... Well, lowest shots on goal. Not just shots on target. Lowest shots on goal of any club in the Premier League in the first half. Um, it's a definite tactic because if he's if his mindset doesn't shift when he's one nil down, then it ain't going to shift when it's nil nil. It's not. Now, like I say, there's a, there's a lot to be respected about that as well in equal measure because you can think, right? Well, yeah, he's stubborn. He sticks to his guns. He won't let us get bashed. He won't let he won't let us get smashed up. But then, my 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 way of thinking is is I I just I just almost think that's you're never going to win anything like that. Like I say, you will always tick over. You're always going to get enough points on the board to get you in a good position um, when you've got good players. But it's not something I enjoy. And it's not something I'll probably ever stop moaning about. I've never done this so much before. I didn't overly like the Sam Allardyce days. Um, but this, although he is a very, very, um, a very good manager, David Moyes, he's very good. There are going to be an awful lot of fans basically just don't like the style of play and they don't like the mentality. It's almost like you're going into a game to not get beat as opposed to going into the game to win it. And and those are the two, the two, that's the main difference. And I think that's, and, and like I say, no one's right, no one's wrong. Everybody's got a different thing that they want to take from football. Okay, and David Moyes is good at what he does. There's no two ways about it. He is, he's proved it. Uh, but there is always going to be that that large portion of West Ham fans that are always going to want that little bit more. Um, you know, I think we got, I got asked earlier on, what would you rather do? You know, um, what difference does it make if you, if you lose one nil or or five four? Well, if you lose five four, you've you've just watched a bloody good game, haven't you? I mean, goals are fun. Ultimately, yeah, you're right. You've lost the game, but if you're going to go and sit through, I mean, how many times have have you have you been over of, of late where you've gone gone to gone to West Ham or you've watched West Ham and it's just it's fucking boring. You do get, um, you feel relief when we win, when we get a goal, when we don't get beat. That's fine. I can't honestly say there's been too many occasions, apart from the European exploits last year against Leon and Sevilla, there's not been too many occasions where we've been brilliant. 
we haven't. We've we've kind of relied on a few individuals that have that have carried us in the offensive third. Um, Bowen, namely last season, he kind of came to our rescue a little bit. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I think that's what it is. So it is difficult. David Moyes, I do believe, should be given time, and he will be given time to see if he can if he can do what I think is almost impossible for most most managers, not just him, and that is to completely change not just his style but his mindset. You know. If that that that's how he sees football, it's it's a bit of an insight, you know. It's don't lose, don't don't concede. Well, that's not how other managers look at it. That's that's not how the likes of how um, Pep, Klopp, you know, a lot of modern managers look at football. They look at how they can go out and beat the opposition, how they can score against them, how they can open them up. We look at how we can stop the opposition from doing that. That. That's that's so that that is all it is, and like I say, myself and John both equally know a lot about football. We both love football, but we like different things. Like I say, John is a defender. He was a defender by trade. He appreciates that side of things. A lot of people do, um, and I did enjoy it initially when David Moyes came in. You know, the grit and determination that we saw in West Ham and being so uh, resilient as well. We haven't seen in a long, long time. It was good to see initially, you know, because we fell to pieces under Pellegrini, didn't we? So to, to, to be so organised and efficient and strong and, and to see us bullying the opposition like we were, it was good to watch for a little while. But I don't think it's ever going to be something that all West Ham fans will accept. Therefore, this type of manager, although they will always, I think they'll, he'll always keep us safe and there or thereabouts, um, there's always going to be a, a faction of, of West Ham fans that don't like it. And that doesn't make them fickle. It just means that they like a different type of football, you know. And I don't think that's too much to ask. Um, likewise, it's it's the same for, the, for for people like me, I suppose, who want a different type of football. Who am I to to kind of have a go at something that seems to be working for us on paper? Um, it's it's the same type of thing. So, like I said, I don't think there's any wrong or right in this. Um, we've seen it in our chat and the live shows. People just go at each other. We're seeing it on Twitter. It's a bit much. There are some people at the extreme ends of the spectrum, you know, who are just basically Moyes out, Moyes out, get rid of him. It's almost like it's, it's like a hate campaign. I don't get that. I don't get that at all. I don't get how you can hate the man uh, for, for what he's done for us. But I do not like the style of football. I don't like it. I, I, I don't like the profile. I think we've kind of lost, lost, our, lost our identity this season as well. I think that's part and parcel of bringing in 10 players into a, into a squad. You know, I think David. You can see David Moyes has obviously been working on different things in training because John alluded to it yesterday on our on our live show. Uh, even when we're trying to play counter attack or, or whatever we're trying to do, nothing seems natural at the minute. It's it's like there's a yeah. It's probably easy when you're just working on one thing day in day out in training. You know, you can become efficient at it. You can know it inside out. But I think what we're seeing is the fact that the team are maybe working on something different in training, maybe that's bleeding onto the pitch, and maybe it's just not natural to the team yet. You know, it could be that. So I'm keen for David Moyes to succeed. I'd like him to. I'd like him to change <laughs> to change his style. Personally, I don't think... Um, I don't think not just he, but most managers can do it. Um, I mean, how many managers in, in history have done that? Have gone from one style of football to another, just, just like that, you know? Um... So I don't know. He obviously he obviously clearly believes in what he does, fiercely believes in it. So how do you just change your mindset? I don't know. I don't know. But but like I say, let's. I'm. Um, uh, yeah, it is it is a divisive um, a divisive topic. It is, uh, and I think it will continue to be. It will go quiet when the results start coming in. And again, that doesn't make people like me fickle. Um, it doesn't. You know, it, it doesn't make me think. It's just you can tolerate you can tolerate bad football when the results are coming in because, yeah, it does kind of offset it. If you're moving up the league and you're and you're and you're challenging for Europe or whatever else, it does it. It makes it it makes it. Uh, it's okay. You're not going to complain, are you? But I'll be I'll be open and honest with you. Like I said, I've not I've, I've not really enjoyed um, the football for a while. I haven't, and I've, I I can't be on my own when you, when you look out there. So I think that's all it is. It isn't hating or targeting David Moyes or calling him shit. He ain't shit. He's not clueless. He's far from it. I just don't know that he's capable of, like I said, you've got managers that specialise in one area and then you've got managers that specialise in the other area. I'd, I'll be amazed if he can if he can make that transition. But we will see because he will get time. Okay? 
But anyway, look, that that was that was me. That was uh, that was me. If you did enjoy the show, please give us a thumbs up. I'm probably going to go easy now on talking about the Moyes thing because it's been done to death. Now I think we just need to need to wait it out. Now what will be will be, um, and then we're going to get on to talking about more fun things um, with hopefully some football coming up at the weekend. Uh, so yeah, like I say, if you enjoyed the show, please drop a like on it and uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. All right then, lovely stuff. Come you ends.